again guys so a new one for you today um, I've actually got a load of Inno 64 um, I do do mini GT I've started doing them they're really good the quality is amazing but I've been seeing the Inno stuff is just next level detail so I had to get some in and uh, see what the crack is um, there's <laughs> they're absolutely immense I, I literally can't get over how good they are I've always collected Matchbox as a 164 so obviously they are there's no doubt that they're toy cars. These are absolutely immense. The detail on just the smallest, smallest items. It's, come have a look. The exhaust even lives underneath the car. The whole interior is there. The roll cage is there. It's even got heated rear windscreen. It's just scary, scary detail for how little this is. Really nice little A86 as well. So there's a lot of Jap stuff. Um, Evo 3, Mitsubishi Evo 3. Uh, we've got the old EG shape Civics. Another EG Civic Castro one, that's really nice. Black. EG again, out of the way. Uh, Integra. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me for some Jap stuff, so these things are wicked. Another Integra. Very early Civic. Old Motol, early, early Civic. Spoon one. And then the EF Civic. They are awesome, aren't they? They retail around sort of 20 quid, um, which to be fair, for the amount of detail that they've put into this, isn't a lot at all. If this was a big scale, it'd be hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I just cannot believe how intricate they are. But yeah, they're all gonna be up on the website by the time you've obviously seen this video. Um, they'll be priced around sort of £20. Um, I know a lot of you guys collect the high-end 164 stuff. Um, I have got a, a few little bits, ignition stuff, mini GT stuff. I'm starting to get some really nice 164 stuff in now. Um, I know not a great deal of UK companies actually deal with the Inno 64 stuff. Um, so if you collect them and you live in the UK, head over to the website, have a little look, see what it's about.